let's visualize it on on let let's visualize let's visualize it so for this first let's do it for training set let's name this section for um, let's write this as training set okay and over here what i'll do is uh i'll plot a scatter plot okay plt dot scatter and it will be having x train x oops, x train we'll be having all uh of the rows of the first column right that is this one uh this first one okay four nine minus two two all of these and in y we will be having the value of x train all the values but of the first one okay and okay that's it we'll edit a bit of it later let's write x label x label we are going to have it uh, pc1 okay let's write pc1 principal component one and plt dot y label let's write principal component two okay pc2 Hmm. Okay, now I guess the data looks very much variated, but uh, let me give a uh, C. Okay, like based on which color, based on whose color it is, based on so let's say C. The color scale is I'll give white train. Hmm. And for more, if you want, you can give a C map also, color map. Uh, for me, I guess, um, I guess flare works for me. You can try out videos and all, but okay, this one looks just great. Okay, you see, uh, we have over here, we have two features, only two features. Out from all those thirty features, we have reduced it to two features, and you can see that it is so much variated. And uh, in a straight line, if you uh, over here for this, I guess. Uh, as this is straight line, okay. In this way, yeah, an SVM will get us a better result. Probably, an SVM should be getting out a better result in this. But we'll just apply logistic regression and look out the solution in this. So for this training set, we have this. Let's uh, see the same thing for test set. How's the test set related? So I'm going to copy everything, paste it over here. Try x test. Again, x test the same thing over here and wow just look at the solution over here after reducing the features okay we have such a good uh, visualization where we can easily say that anything uh, which is over here in this area okay that is the pc is quite high and uh, this is low pc1 is low okay uh, so over here we can easily say that we can get a very good fit a quite a good model and we are actually able to uh, visualize it do a bit of data analysis if you want to do okay uh, so we have these now the next thing is that uh, we might do is let's fit a logistic regression model Okay, so from scikit-learn, from scikit-learn, okay, uh, we are going to call linear model, and from that import, uh, let's import logistic regression. Okay, let's see this capital hmm. logistic regression. The next thing is let's do LR. LR is equal to logistic regression and if you want the same solution as me you can do just a random uh you can put a random state as equal to um, zero if you want the same solution as me okay and then again lr is equal to i'm going to fit it fit it on my x train and y train 
let's look into LR. LR is my loyalty integration. Okay, that's fine. Now the next thing is uh, what we do. We evaluate. So let's write this evaluation. Hmm, evaluation. So let's do from scikit-learn dot matrix. Let's import confusion matrix and we are going to call the classification report. Hmm. Uh, let's call out the confusion matrix. Okay. Before that, we just need to do uh, do the prediction part. Let's do the predictions also. Hmm. Over here, for let's take white red. White red is equal to lr lr dot uh, predict and we are going to predict it on x test right and then let's print let's print our confusion matrix let's print our confusion matrix and uh, for that we will be taking our white test and white red so yeah white true value and then the white uh, red value so white test and the white red This looks fine. Let's run this. So you see that we have actually got a very good solution over here. And if you just put the classification report also, classification report also, and with y uh, red, with y test. Okay, let's print. Have this on print. Hmm. So we are actually getting a very good fit. Okay, almost ninety nine percent, and that's uh, really a good fit. If you uh, play around with the random state, obviously you will be getting some different values. Maybe in there. if you see, uh, it will uh, uh, varies a bit. But yeah, as of now, you see that we are actually getting out a very good value over here. Okay, so. Uh, we have trained our model, we have got all the better results. And just for the fact, we are doing a very great job over here. Also, these things might actually change if you uh, change things here and there. Okay. Uh, like uh, if you have the same random state as me, uh, if you increase the test size, let's say the test size is 3. And if you do everything again, okay, the solution might might get a bit uh, changes okay as we are uh, taking 30 percent of our data set for uh, evaluation so that's why we had taken 20 and we are getting a very good results but you can see that we are getting an accuracy of 98 percent and that's really a good fit okay uh, that's quite a good fit that we are getting and so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it Okay, I hope you enjoyed PCA. PCA is nothing but just a dimension reduction technique. We'll connect again once we start with a new section. That's it. Have a, a good day and enjoy coding.